peacock bass. Got it. Got it. Got it. Hey, 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 hey. This is what I'm using right here. Back by popular demand. Uh, I did a reel with this that went super viral. It was even shared on ESPN Sports Center. This is the little proficiency crazy setup. I got this at iCast. So for anyone asking, I, I got this from the iCast booth and they asked me to make some videos with it to see if I can make it go viral. I think it's been a mission accomplished. I did exactly that. But, you know, I'm gonna prove that we can catch a nice fish on it. And today I'm gonna target some peacock bass and whatever hits my line. Guys, if you enjoy this type of content, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on your notification bell right now. All right, so we're spooling up this little proficiency rod. I had to replace the line. I wanna make sure I don't get spooled out if I catch a fish. This is what I'm using right here, a little Zepco OmniFlex. This is four pound. So that way you guys know what I'm using. You just saw me spooling it up. It's a four pound line. I made a video using this rod the other day and it went absolutely viral and I've got a lot of requests to make another one. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm making another video. I'm gonna do it like a full screen so you guys could uh, join me. If I can catch the fish on this, I could do some regular fishing too. So uh, hopefully I can catch a fish pretty quick. All right guys, welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. Today we're using the proficiency, this micro rod. I think it's a little above average and it has a really nice personality. So I think it's gonna catch fish. Stay tuned. CEO Fishing is brought to you by the Real Hooker Bait and Tackle, Vector Hooks, Nines Optics, and Cast King. So this channel is all about fishing, learning how to fish, teaching people how to fish with the stuff I know how to fish with, and challenging myself. And catching a big fish on a rod this size is definitely a challenge. So that's what we're doing today, a little micro fishing rod. Throw on one of these vector hooks because CEO Fishing is brought to you by Vector Hooks. Now for peacock bass, I like to use a size one hook if I'm using live bait. And basically it's because it's a lightweight hook and the fish can swim naturally. They don't sink to the bottom or anything. All right, so today I'm using some live shiners. Make it easy on myself. So I say, I hope I can catch a fish. That's like, woo, almost dropped it. A little live shiner right there. To the bottom of the lip, up through the nose. Close that up. And I think we're ready to go fishing. Let's get down here. Camera check. And first cast, guys. First cast. Now we wait. Oh, I'm on. First cast, first cast, first cast, first cast. Let me tilt this up a little bit. Oh, oh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Bird's trying to steal. Oh, yeah. get this. Let me get the camera set up for you guys a little bit better there. Come on, baby. Come on. I'm not gaining anything on them. Come on, this way, this way. I got the drag as tight as I can too. Oh, yeah. Uh oh, what is this? Come on. Come on, the peacock, the peacock. Come on, baby. Whew. You saw that jump, oh, no slack, no slack, come on. Yeah, yeah, come on, don't get me in that branch. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, he's running. Ah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get over here. Can I tighten this a little bit? Nope. Come on. This is fun. People say you can't catch a fish like this on a rod like this, they just don't know how to finesse. Gotta have that flick of the wrist. This is the first cast. You guys saw it. You guys saw it. First cast. Oh, 
Oh, gotta get closer. Oh, he's got grass on him too. Come on. Skater up. Come on, don't break on me, buddy. Yes. There it is. Peacock bass on the little micro rod. Here it is, guys. Boom. Look at the size of this rod. Look at the size of the fish. That's how, that's finesse fishing at its finest right there. Let's go. That is finesse fishing at its finest. Beautiful. Let's get this hook out. Thank you for the fight, my guy. Thank you for the fight. Be on your way. There it is. Look at the size of that reel compared to my hand. Look at that. So uh, let's go for another one. That was that was pretty fast. Bottom lip, top lip. And let's go. Come on. On the proficiency, this is a crazy setup. But this one is not available anywhere. They have the one that's like kind of comes up. It's almost like a rifle shape. I mean, that's just my opinion. Um, I've got one of those in the truck also, but a silver one. Not this setup with this color pattern. Where's that big fish? I, I want a big peacock bass that people would be like, how the hell? I mean, that last one was a good size. For this rod, that was a nice size fish. And if people could understand how a peacock bass really fights, how strong a peacock bass fights versus like a largemouth, You'll realize that that's no easy thing trying to land one with this little setup. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got a fish. 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 I'm on again. I'm on again. Look at the rod bend. Oh. This is a bigger fish. Oh no, no, it popped me. I know you guys saw that. That was a freaking tilapia that crushed the line. You probably saw it boiling. It was, it was a lot bigger than the peacock bass. Um, dang, I don't know if I the drag, I might've just did a little too tight or I was trying to horse it too much maybe but I lost my fish. But let's go try and find another one. Bro, F that noise. That guy broke me off, took my vector hook, but it popped my line. So I'm gonna try and get revenge. I don't know if I can get into hit artificial, but we're gonna find out right now. But first cast, let me just rip it along this ledge. Oh, something came out and chased. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know if you, you guys can't see that from here. You guys can't see that from here. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. Let's palm it. It's more comfortable. It's a nice peacock bass. Flipper die! Oh no! No, no, no! Where are you going, buddy? Got him! Got him! Peacock bass, baby. Look at that beautiful fish. Look at the colors. Nice. Get in there. Let's go for another one. Got another one. This one's smaller, smaller, smaller. Much smaller. Oh, this one's flared up. Oh, I lost my lure. Another little peacock. Go home. Yeah. All right, so I just pulled over to another spot and 
when I peeked over the edge, there's a peacock bass sitting right there. So let's re-rig this micro fishing rod to see if I can catch another fish. You like that sound? Listen to how that drag sounds. Right now, I have to spool up again because that tilapia actually ripped off half the line from the spool. So I gotta pull this out and uh, do my best to, oh, there it is right there, I got the end. I'm gonna throw this away, guys. Never leave your track. You know what? So I don't even forget, not risk it. I'm gonna take it over to my truck and we're gonna just throw it in the back of the truck. So you don't wanna leave a mess anywhere where you fish. Always clean up after yourself. There we go. Fresh fishy line makes it so much easier to cast. Uh-oh, I'm already on. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm already on. Ready, 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 ready. What do I got? <laughs> that was quick. Come on, come on, come on. It's coming to me. That's a good thing. Ooh. Where you at? Try and get a little better angle for you guys here. Oh, you're going down the cat. Ooh, that's a nice fish. That is a nice fish. Guys, I got I got a nice fish here. Oh my gosh. So this is crazy. This is a big fish for this this line and setup. Come on. Look at that fish. Come on. It's not huge. Such a gentle eat too. Ooh. I wonder if I can flip it with this line. Did I death? No. No. I did it. I did it. I got it. I got it. Look at that, guys. <laughs> Look at the size of that fish compared to the fishing rod. It's not a big, big peacock bass by any standard, but it's still a nice fish. Barely hooked, too. And uh, I'll take it. That's two on the mini. That's two on the mini, guys. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. It was fun fishing with the mini rod. I... I'm gonna do this more often just because people seem to like it and it's kind of fun. You know, I got to get in some regular fishing, you know, casting that Kestrel lead out and, and catching some peacock bass on that little flat there. But, you know, I don't mind having some fun playing with these little rods. I actually got another one over here. I think it's a little ice rod. Let me see. Yeah, Livingston uh, gave me this one to use. So I'm probably gonna throw on a, a little Cast King, like a 2000 onto this and and try and get a get a fish, maybe a snook or something on this. That would be pretty fun. That way I can have a little more line to play with, something a little bit stronger. Uh, that four pound line with, I think it's only like 35 yards, not even, of line that's on those little spools. And that makes it difficult because I lose any line, I can get spooled off really easily. But guys, you know, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you're subscribed to the channel with your notifications on. And until next time, remember, keep your head up, Keep moving forward in tight lines. Zzz.